Mike McCool here with the Royal Examiner. I'm sitting in the Main Street Market with Jenny Lesser and Dusty Williams. So, I thought we'd just have a conversation about what's okay. been going on the last couple months, especially maybe the last week or two with the, with the EDA and Main Street Market and Donnie Poe and uh, Jennifer McDonald and everything Okay, else. you know, a lot of this I don't have any know, comment but, on because I don't know. <laughs> but, but uh, you know, everybody's been in the news, you know, so we thought, well, maybe we just get a wrap up and find out, you know, what you're going to do. Uh, you know, obviously we want to see you know, businesses succeed, and yeah. especially on Main Street, you know, it's a tough, tough, tough uh, way to run a business on Main Street, the market, you know. So, it let's is. talk a little bit about it. So, what are you going to do with the Main Street market? Well, ideally when I started, you know, the whole reasoning behind having this business was to provide food and necessities for the people that live in the Main Street area. Uh, there's a lot of apartments here, there's little neighborhoods behind here, and a lot of these people don't have cars, they don't have ways unless they take the trolley or a taxi to get to groceries or, you know, just basic living essentials, and we thought it would be a great idea just to start something out that hopefully we could build on. One of the surprising things that we ended up finding out is that people coming in here, we, we do sell grocery items, but a lot of the people don't necessarily cook. Right. And they came in asking Dusty for sandwiches and soup and barbecue. And so our kind focus, evolved, it? yes, <laughs> our focus had to change to keep up with what they actually needed. Sure, sure. And we tried to be really good about that. We tried to make sure that we always had, you know, we have, we have, um, giant cans of gravy that I'd never heard of before, but was such a staple of our clients that would come in here and they would ask about this particular gravy and we tracked it down and we ordered it in because that's what they were used to eating. Right. And we wanted to be responsive to them because, you know, all of us are creatures of habit. It's amazing though how many people that you can serve and you wouldn't think there'd be very many but there's a lot there's a lot and people would come in um, around Christmas and ask about certain spices because they remembered buying those when Bernie was here. Uh, Bernie had everything. <laughs> the problem was we could never find it, but you just ask him, he just walk it, stick his hand through that shelf and pull it out, and here it is. Yeah, <laughs> and they'll be like, oh, I was just looking there. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but he had it. And he I had think, it. You know, it's amazing. He moved a lot of stuff out of here. Yeah. It's just amazing. I'm sure you, yeah. he left a lot of stuff. He here. left a lot of stuff too, but. <laughs> well, it's interesting. So what's your plans here? Are you going to be moving, relocating? We uh, are closing, stopping. Uh, what's we're trying to sell down. Um, we've, I guess, for all intents and purposes, have pretty well closed the cafe part down. Um, Red Dog Betty's, which is our hot dog stand, right. is still up, and that'll stay running for a couple of weeks. We have the option to purchase, and we have made an offer, but it wasn't accepted by the EDA, so that's fine. Um, we. We're looking at other spaces on Main Street. We still think that that what we started doing still has legs to it. We think you know it can be successful, and even if we close, it that doesn't address the problem that is Main Street right now. Is that you can't buy? There's no place to buy um, aspirin. You can't buy toilet paper. You can, you know the list goes on and on because those types of stores don't exist on Main Street any longer. But there's people that live here and there's people that work here and it's needed. Right. So, Not everybody can go to a big box store. That's and right. If you're especially as you get a little older, even if you can drive, it's yeah. still a I know it's a small town, but it is a drudgery sometimes going across the town bridges. to going across <laughs> out into the corridor or fighting the traffic at Martins and and yeah. especially as you get a little older, and you don't go out during the night, you don't do this, you don't exactly. do that. Exactly, And exactly. they don't really need a lot. And sometimes they'll make, maybe their kids will come and they'll make a big trip once a month somewhere, but right. they do need that little this, little that, and they just want to get out. I think, you know, some well, of that is the social aspect of, a, of your place. Well, we have a family across the street. She sends her son over for milk. 
-hmm. every Saturday. Yeah. Yeah. Until we stopped having to carry it. But he would come over every Saturday to get milk so that they could have it with the cereal. Sure. You know, so. Yeah. I think and there's a need for that downtown. Like I said, a lot of apartments uh, downtown, the average person doesn't really see it. And then, uh, and like you say, the area off Jackson Street and behind, even here in South Street, really. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of small and a lot of elderly people uh, that are just used to what was here before and they don't like the change. Well, yeah. when, last fall when we were able to have the vegetables and the fruits, right. kind of, you know, um, we had people that would come in almost every day because they bought just enough to get them through that day, right. and then they'd come back the next day. And yeah, that's we, the European model, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, well it, used, to, it, used to go in fact, they don't go to the store; they're going to the market. Right, right. right. Going to the market. Right. Well, and not all of these houses and apartments have air conditioning, right. and that became our problem this spring and summer. Um, so they weren't they weren't buying enough to last a week because they couldn't guarantee that it wouldn't go bad. Exactly. And then this, since we don't have air conditioning in here, or not uh, have air conditioning that works. Well, yeah. I mean, it's the same difference, <laughs> but because we don't, uh, we tried bringing in some of the vegetables and the fruits but they kept going bad because yeah they don't you know, survive at 90 degree temperature no no, no none of us do actually we, no. we don't survive in 90 <laughs> degree temperatures either well let's see what else is going on but i do know that you had a nice space you tried about any everything that's people thrown <laughs> at you can you try this well come on down we'll <laughs> try it, you know? yeah i mean that's that was the whole point of doing this is to reach out and and we really didn't want our our customers coming in to just be faceless, and it's it's it makes us feel good that over the last eight months we've had people that we might pass on the street that don't look up, you know, they keep their heads down, and they come in now and they're talking to sure. us, and and yeah. we know you that they relationships. My gosh yeah yeah it's a huge it's made a huge difference for us and and when somebody comes in and says thank you so much for being here and and this means a lot to us to be able hope, to doesn't it? it does you say okay well i'll stay open one more day <laughs> we've exactly. done that we've, we've done, done that, that. yeah oh, we'll since. stay an extra hour yeah. and they reached out on facebook and it's like oh well you know and i'm like oh i'll stay until you get here and they yeah. and they show it's amazing up. people call us at the office and yeah oh, i can't get I, well, well how late are you open and we say well we're here we say 5 30 but we're here till 6 and I said, well, I'll, if you're coming, I'll wait for you. Really? You'll do that? I know. Yeah. We, yeah, we do it all the time. Yeah. We've had it. the doors locked and been walking to the cars, and somebody steps around the corner and goes, oh, you're closed, and we've opened up. and, sure. and you know. That's part of a small business that you oh, need yeah. to do. Because, you know, people can buy this everything you sell somewhere else. That's right. right. And That's it's right. the convenience. It's the speed. Uh, and I try to tell people in my office, I said, you know, we got to be able to do it faster, quicker. Cheaper isn't always the issue. No. It's never the price. It's just how quick I need it. Exactly. You know, when you're making something and you're out of an ingredient, it, uh, you need it. Yeah. You know, right? That's right. Yeah, you <laughs> don't care what it costs. We've had a chef from next door come over looking for peppers because they ran out of peppers and they right. only were open for two more hours. Right. I'm like, oh, sorry, we can't keep it here because it goes bad. Yeah. So you think you uh, EDA will take your offer on? You're gonna. You think you make another offer, or are you just gonna wash your hands and try another location? I think we will. We'll move. I mean, you know, I know it's crazy um, because this building has a million problems, but it's an old, funky building, and it feels like it's always felt like home to me. And when I first came in. My husband thought I was crazy because everything was painted black and it was, you know, and it was floor to ceiling with junk and he didn't see the attraction and I just, I, you know, I, I can remember just standing there and, and thinking to myself, we could do something with this. We could make it come alive again. I can visualize, right? Yes, I exactly. Can what, I can see what I want, you know? Exactly. Now, getting there sometimes. At, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> A couple little minefields, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that well, didn't work out so well. Well, I know you've had a lot of issues. And I, you know, I guess we could say, did the EDA work with you or try to work with you? Or, you know, how did they, you know, do you think that, you think they tried or the best they could? I don't think anybody knew what was going on, really. But, uh, 
Well, we certainly screwed up by not having the building totally inspected, you know, because we knew we knew the toilet flushed, um, the lights, you know, turned on, and I thought I knew it was an old funky building. Uh, I knew it it needed a lot of you know tender loving care. Um, didn't know about the roof leaking. That that was a big one. And once once that became such an issue, you know, with the, the ceiling tiles falling out and I remember you know, coming in here and the buckets everywhere. <laughs> we still have them over in the corner we there. Still have them in the corner. Yeah, because that whole side of the ceilings caved in. I went up we there. Your husband took me around. We walked around and looked. You could see daylight coming through the roof. So yes, I guess, you can. Yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, Jane, why are you stopping by after? Yeah. <laughs> you said I'm stopping by to talk to you. Oh, it? yeah. Yeah, thanks so, for that. <laughs> so, I, maybe I should rephrase it. I trespassed up in the roof to look at it. You know, maybe, yeah. yeah, you have to be careful up there. It's not that, uh, yes, it's not very, that sturdy. It, you know, from a construction point of view, I would say the whole roof structure needs to come off and be redone. It is yeah. held together with yes. bailing wire and chewing gum. Yeah, there's not as many of the support beams as no, I think there should have, be. Well, if things have been cut off. You can see where the boards have just been cut and a, and a wedge stuck under one side to hold the eye beams up and different yeah. things. I'm sure it would not pass any boring building code. <laughs> Probably not. No, definitely. But, you know, it has... I mean, in spite of everything, but it's you know, it's upright. Uh, it has a great porch area, sure. and people love coming and sitting on the porch and having a sandwich or hot dog. And and I think we're all friendly here, sure. and we try to help people. And um, there's so you know, with you know, with seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars, you could probably really do something with oh, this place. Yeah. Yeah. But for half of that, you could build it new. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I guess you could move down to the aft and in, and uh, only spend breezy two million. in there. Oh, yeah, it's a little breezy now, but you know, two million dollars will fix that problem. And you, well, that breeze might to, make it so we can have vegetables. Well, you know, oh, yeah. right. I think it'd be great to have the Main Street Market right up the aft, the ground floor of the aft and in. If they put a floor in, yeah, I, I, yeah. Floor, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, and we talk about things historical downtown, yeah. but you know, in reality, we really don't have any historic things downtown to speak of. We got a lot of old stuff and uh, but you know it is quaint, it's charming, it's what we got and I think everybody loves it. And, uh, and I would here. agree. I mean I think that the buildings overall need to be um, kept up better. Uh, there's a lot, you know, this is not the only building on no, Main Street a with the leaking. That, uh, a strong wind might blow them over. <laughs> <laughs> when a building says empty for a long time, yeah. it deteriorates so fast. I mean, they're like living creatures. You but know? we've learned even buildings that have people in it are right that need work. Well, you know, right now we're going through that block grant that we have. We're going to mm -hmm. put a Band-Aid again. I mean, we did that about, what, 15 years ago or 20 years ago, however long. It seems like yesterday, but, yeah. uh, you know, and it's a Band-Aid. I mean, it's, you know, people do, and it costs a lot of money to do that, and, you know. Put another fifteen or twenty thousand dollars into the problem is putting into something that you don't own or into exactly. a building that is so small and has such small rent that a building owner can't really recoup recoup that. That's why we need owners op uh, owner occupied buildings, and then you feel a little more like when I put money into my own building, I'm looking long term. Exactly. And right. I think that's, exactly. That's what you, so, so, what kind of building downtown are you looking to buy? <laughs> 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 if you have a half a million dollars or so, we can go look at the old quality paint store. That'd make a great, great place. You know, that's funny that people keep coming in. They're like, "Oh, have you looked look at, at this? this? Have you looked at this? Yeah. Oh, this." They're... Everybody has ideas. Well, you know, it's just kind of yeah. like when they went through that save the afternoon. Everyone that was vocal, they didn't have a nickel in it. They had no skin in the game. Yeah. And then they had plenty started, of ideas. Where'd they go? I mean, they never stepped I don't know. up. And, and uh, you know a few of the old squeaky wheel you know you get a little vocal people but and yeah. then the, the council or the board of supervisors has a tendency to to bend to the facebook crowd or bend to the three people that are vocal and and, and run their mouth so to speak uh instead of looking at it long term 
that's what the you know the government should, are looking. You know, we look at something in one or two or maybe three year mm -hmm. increments, maybe five years if we're really visionaries. <laughs> but the government is, should be looking at 25, 50, 100 years down the road. That's the plan they need to be on. And right. I, I think we need to we need to have some little more vision of things. I, I, I tell people, you go back to the 1957 comprehensive plan, you know, when I was on the committee to look at things, and they brought this out, and on the cover was a picture of downtown, you know, drawing. Mm -hmm. There wasn't one old building on it. They were all new, modern buildings. Wow. And this is whatever the our forefathers didn't look at Front Royal of being a historic downtown. Right. They wanted it to be a modern, vibrant city or a downtown. So it's just funny how the buildings were all new, had all looked like 60s, you know, the, I know. the Jetsons oh, or something. Yeah, you know? I know. But Back at that time. It, that didn't happen, you know. Right. But uh, it is a shame. It's a shame. But uh, we want to encourage people to bring their business here. I think there's some negative vibes going around, but, you know, I, I think that's really you know, minor when you. It sounds like it's a big deal, and it is a big deal. I don't want to it say it isn't, but I think we need to, when you look at the whole county-wide, it's really just a speck, you know. And, uh, and if everybody came together, we could really do a lot with Main yeah, Street. I think we could. I mean, I've come to love Main Street. Yeah, because you know, I love Main Street. <laughs> Not just because of you, but you did, you know. I force yourself on me. So, Jenny, you've named all your businesses Main, Main Street. Main Street, I know. Um, oh, actually, I, I did follow suit. Yeah, yeah Main yeah. Street CBD. There you go. Well, you know, you have everything, you know, kind of Main Street. I mean, well, it is because people that's. Know where that is. Yeah, exactly. exactly. And it's. I grew up here, and Main Street at that time was a big deal. You know, it was exciting to come down and 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 walk on the sidewalks and go to Newberry's or you know Compton's or you know any of these places. And and I just want, I, you know, I, I've realized that that times have changed, and Amazon is the new Main Street of the world. But I still love being able to walk down the sidewalk and to go in and to know the people in the stores and to be able exactly. to touch and feel it, it you matters go home and order it on Amazon? <laughs> no, I don't do that we <laughs> shop front royal we shop unless I, unless it doesn't exist here right, right. you know but right. we that was always the you know when the internet started we would spend hours talking to people about equipment and demonstrating it and then call them up in two weeks oh yeah I got one I found it online $10 <laughs> And then they would bring it back for warranty service. I said, we, we don't warrant anything we don't sell. You know? Right. Yeah, well, you know, people don't understand that. No, it costs, yeah. you know, it costs money to sell stuff. It does, you know? it and, does. Uh, it's just kind of like the paper, you know, the newspaper. Well, why do I got to subscribe? Well, I need advertisers. I mean, no one wants to pay for subscriptions. You know? Right. They won't pay for that. Right. Uh, it does, especially online, but you have to buy a newspaper that, you know, uh, print paper, because it's tangible. Yeah. And I think that's the thing that, the digital world is an untangible, it's like radio advertising. You know, it's yeah, once it's, it's gone, it's gone. It's out there somewhere. You know, so. Right. But uh, I think that people are interested in what's going on in our community. Uh, I think yeah. they're interested in listening what you want to do. I mean, and how you. I know there's a group that, you know, that doesn't really feel you were treated fairly. I mean, well, that's maybe being very the, kind of uh, them. And, uh, I appreciate that. And I'm sure there's a group that says. Uh, you were treated too kind, you know, so, uh, but, you know, their money's not in the game, you know, let's, let's think about that, right. and, uh, and you've got a, a lot of money's been put through your business here. I know, uh, and, I know, and it was worth every penny as long as it helped the people sure, in sure. this neighborhood. Yeah, you know, you're not going to get rich, but you don't want to keep going negative. You, you know, know I, I'm... <laughs> It used to drive my sales managers crazy, but I'm not motivated by money. That as long as I have enough to, you know, to pay my bills, sure. I am happy as a clam. I don't, I don't need the extra. And um, I would just as soon go ahead and and put it into a business like this and try to make a difference and make it easier, you know, for some of the people here because I've been very fortunate. Sure. And I. You know, I wish that I wish that all the kids growing up today could have the kind of childhood that you know sure. that I had that I was lucky enough to sure. have. Sure. Um, 
you know, being able to, to play outside, not worry about being snatched and, yeah. you know, to go to school and, um, and things are so different. You I've know. seen a picture or a meme or something where they were all inside playing on their phones and the mom says, go outside and play. The next picture is they're sitting in the swings playing with their phones. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, you're right. But and I you always remember. knew where everybody was by the bikes. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. I mean, yeah. How did we grow up without cell phones? And, and now every 10-year-old's got a cell phone. Yeah. I, I, I don't, you know, the three-year-old, uh, the woman in church had an iPad, and she was going to, uh, you know, during the nursery, and she was going to have her three-year-old watch a movie, and the little baby said, no, Mommy, not that way. And she kept hitting the button, <laughs> and, you know, the, the movie popped up. So <laughs> here's a three-year-old knew more about running her iPad than she did. You know? Right. And so, I mean, they've grown up with it. That's they, all they've known. That's right. Um it's very well, natural yeah. to them. Well, like you say, I think that's why people migrate to places like this. Uh, they like that nostalgia. Mm -hmm. They're looking for something that's missing in their life, maybe. I don't know. I think no one hates coming here, you know? <laughs> I mean, no matter how hot it is. And uh, But I think it has the charm that people are looking for. And I think that's what Main Street uh, is all about, is just to bring back that little taste of something that's... I think sometimes life just gets too fast and too confusing and 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 so burdening, you know, and sometimes you just need to be able to to walk down the street yeah, because n nobody walks in the city, you yeah. know, but you walk down the street and there's an ice cream shop and you can just you can get an ice cream, you can sit on the bench, you know, at the gazebo and and just watch the world go by, right, right. you know. And, I mean, and how a few great! People that do that. Yeah, you know, yeah. We show up to our Friday night gazebo events, and yep. people come, bring their lawn chairs, and sit out. I mean, how it's great. great is that? And it's like, but you know, maybe there's a hundred people. Sometimes there's more. Sometimes there's less. You're saying, why isn't there more people here? And I talk to people and say, well, I didn't know about that. I, said, I know. I hear that all yeah, the time. I hear that a lot. You yeah. Know, and, uh, well, if you'd read the Royal Examiner, you would know. <laughs> <laughs> or our Facebook page, because I do advertise everything Friday nights. Yeah, and you come get a hot yeah. dog by, right before. Yeah. yeah. So well, well, I hope that uh, things work out for you, and I hope no, you get treated sure fairly. And maybe everybody will just wash their hands and go their ways and, 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 That's and, fine. and, and how it works out. But yeah. uh, we're going to be looking for bigger and better things uh, for you. In the thank future. you. You've uh, learned a good lesson. <laughs> Uh, yes, life know, is not fair. Do not have, uh, life is unfair, but you know, uh, uh, don't get into triple net leases. You know? <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know, especially leases that make some sort and, of and sense. Don't, don't work with the government, you know. <laughs> yeah, not, it just goes on and on. They're not here to help you, you know, no, no matter what they say, they are not here to help you. So, but, you know, but, you know, there's a lot of things we just need to do and just push through it. And it's, it's all about attitude, I think. And, yeah and keep building those relationships with people. Uh, and I think people will support it. Uh, it takes time. Uh, you know, it everybody does. will show up the week before you close, you'll be packed. Oh you know? yeah, definitely. Oh, I didn't know you were here. Oh, I've found a note about this. I'd have been there, you know. <laughs> you know uh, i I'll give you a real quick story, you know, where we're located, Sixth mm -hmm. and Commerce. Well, that building was built in 1977. It was a speed shop for about six months. I don't remember the name of it, Jim Bowes or somebody. So I've been there since 1980s, 80, right. so 40 years, let's say, close to it. And I tell people where I'm at, oh, you're down there where that speed shop was. <laughs> you know, you know? <laughs> Who remembers that? You've been there forever. <laughs> and, 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 you know, signs hanging all over the building. You know, I didn't know you were here. I didn't know you did that, you know. And it's, oh, you're where that speed shop. So, yeah, it doesn't, uh, that's, that's it. <laughs> well, people come in here and, oh. When did it change? Yeah. Where's Bernie? <laughs> I know. I'm, 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 I'm honest. I'm like, oh, I think he passed away a few years ago. And he, yeah. You know, and they're like, oh, really? I'm like, yeah. Well, it's nice talking to Thank you, too. You. Thank you. Thank you. Anything we can do to help you in your new adventure, Main Street Market. <laughs> on, who? on On the road. On yes, the road, on the but, road. Uh, yeah, maybe a roach coach sounds like Main Street Roach Coach. You know, we don't really... Not exactly where I'm thinking. Not that. exact wording either. Now they're called food trucks. I'm yes. Sorry. <laughs> Showing your age here, buddy. <laughs> but, but uh, you know, you have a lot of equipment and you got coolers. And, and uh, mm -hmm. but we got to find a place that's got a good air conditioner. So. 
you yes. know. A good eater. Oh gosh. That'll be your first thing you look for. Well, I've gotten yeah. used to the cold actually, so <laughs> this will be the first winter well, I actually didn't mind it. How about a quick plug for Main Street Travel? That's still going great. Yes, and that has no problem. Work, and the air conditioning, air conditioning is wonderful. Yes, I've got a great landlord and thank you, honey, as opposed to here. Um, yeah, we didn't hear that. <laughs> um, it's it's great. It's busy and so what you know. Do you do there? I mean, you're gonna. I mean, they've got away with the airline. Everybody wants to go direct and do it online, but it goes back but to that relationships what? again, doesn't it? It is. It, there's a lot of there's a lot of people that do their research online, and that's fine. I want them to. It, it takes away the price objection. Right. You know, if they say I want to go to Spain, and what do you mean it's going to cost me two thousand dollars to fly there? <laughs> you know, right, they, right. Once they go online and, and they see the two thousand dollars, then it makes sense. You know, and so. Uh, there's so many things that we can do to take the hassle out of You've actual... You've done it a thousand times. I know. And and so if they ask about going to Las Vegas or any place that might have been a kind of a bucket list trip sure. for them, I've been there. I've done that. I send people there. That's you a know, t-shirt. Yeah. Welcome, yeah. Right? And so I can say, oh, you know, they've got great Italian food in this little place right in the middle of yeah. an alley. You know, right. Whatever it is. I mean, we're all about alleys here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but if you're planning a trip, yeah. consider Main Street Travel. I yeah. Mean, you know, great. I mean, the other nice thing, too, is that when you're traveling, I know where my guests are, unless they go off the reservation, sure. but I know where they are, and if anything happens, they just pick up the phone, they text me, call me, Facebook me, whatever, and I'll find them and take care of whatever the problem sure. is. And you hate to think that anything will happen, but it does. Right. You know, that's just a fact of life these days. But um, I like having the relationships with them with my clients and I want them to know that I'm trying to do the very best for them because I want them to come back. I want sure. them to be happy and come back over and over again and um, you just don't get that warm and fuzzy from the um, internet. I know, I know. Get sent, hope for the best. That's yep. what I always say. <laughs> yeah. What about this Main Street CD, CBD? Tell me about that. Um, it's CBD is a oil that we have oils and capsules that is healing and it allows you to have less pain sleep better less anxiety um, yeah. so this is all from the hemp plant hemp plant we don't yes. call it a marijuana plant do we no but no. It, two different things two different <laughs> things yes you could not get high off my stuff <laughs> So, but yeah, so we do carry the oils and the capsules here. Well, I've read a lot, seen people where this is a, a new thing that people have adapted to mm -hmm. different uses and it's been pretty successful. In my Facebook page, I've always been, it, I have this as educational instead of as a sales store because right. I tell them if they don't buy from me, that's fine. Just educate on what you're putting in your body. Right. We always say don't buy from a gas station or a grocery store or a market, thankfully. Um, so, you know, we only have two ingredients in our stuff, you know, because the more ingredients, then you're not getting the benefit of the oil. Sure. And so you want as natural as you can get, and Closest that's what to we the have. Source, huh? Exactly. 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 And you're located in the Main Street Market. In the Main so Street you'll Market. Be moving along with the Main Street Market. On and the road Main, again. <laughs> and at Main Street Travel. Yeah. <laughs> when we close here, it'll be at the travel agency. <laughs> their aches and pains of sitting on a plane for 12 hours. Exactly. You know, it does work. I mean, it and really it helps does with work. anxiety. If, yeah. Instead yeah, of if going you're not to a get good a flyer, <laughs> yeah. Xanax or Zoloft to go on the plane, you know, the oil is the way, the to, way go. to go. Yeah. 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 Or a capsule if you don't like the taste of the plant. Yeah. Which great. I don't. Well, so <laughs> <laughs> she really like, don't. It tastes like grass. <laughs> go figure, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, all right, ladies, I think we'll call this to an end here. Uh, you know, uh, I'm sure people will say, well, we had enough of that. <laughs> this off. So, uh, we'll be back when, okay. when, when things get close, maybe to the move in date of the new place or, okay. or to move out of the old place. We'll yeah. uh, keep us posted. We'll come back and talk to you again. All right. Thank you so and much. I think people, you do have a lot of support in the community oh. and just ignore Facebook comments. You know, I just kind of. I know. I, I don't read it. I let Dusty read it. And if she thinks <laughs> it's, it's something she, I need to know, she'll she filter it. Right? Yes. <laughs> Actually, I do. Yeah. Yeah, she does. Yeah. If it's All something right. I need to know, she lets me know. And if it's not, then I don't tell her. That's a good idea. All right. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you.